Hello fellow vegans, I hope you're doing great. Today let's talk about vegan nutrition basics. And this is a video I wish I would have watched like six years ago. Because back when I started becoming vegan, I read a couple of books, I watched a couple of videos, so to speak, online, but I never really talked about the basics of this vegan nutrition thing. So if you just give me a couple minutes of your time, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how to structure your vegan nutrition in a very simple and a step-by-step -step manner. So just give me a couple of minutes of your time. If you like this information of this video, smash the like button and make sure this channel stays in good favor of the YouTube algorithm gods. So let's just jump right into it. The first step, which I did right in my past, and which you should do too, is to simply eat crap in the beginning. What does this mean? This means calorie-rich and processed foods. It makes your switch to veganism way easier if you simply like replace your current um, meat, meat eating behavior, for example, with fake meats. So instead of eating, for example, a beef patty or like a burger patty for lunch, you simply eat a vegan burger patty for lunch, so to speak. Now this is like, this is the basics. This is like switching, making your switch to a vegan nutrition way easier, so to speak, in the beginning. And that's what I did. I switched from a heavy meat eating diet to veganism back six years ago, six years ago. And frankly, I, my, my nutrition was so bad uh, before that like every, like a switch to um, plant-based meat could only make it better, uh, so to speak. So I was eating a lot of chicken in the beginning. I replaced this with vegan chicken. I was eating a lot of uh, burger patties in the beginning. I replaced this simply with vegan burger patties. And even by making this simple switch and eating a little bit more salads and, and uh, making sure I had the right amount of, of calories, so to speak, my transition was very smooth. My transition was very easy. Why? Is it, why? Because I made very simple changes to my nutrition. The second thing, based on the vegan nutrition basics, is you need to understand that vegan diets are not healthy by, by, uh, by definition or by, by default. There's ways you can make vegan, vegan diets unhealthy, uh, so to speak. Now, a lot of people might agree with this uh, or might disagree, uh, so to speak. Why? Because we kind of we think that just because something is vegan, it is healthy. Now, this was true like five or 10 years ago when everything you found, well, well, what, well like what was vegan, uh, so to speak, was like beans, fruits, vegetables, uh, and like tofu, you know, like which is which is based on like soybeans. But nowadays we have a lot of fake vegan products, so to speak. We have vegan burgers, we have vegan chicken, all the good stuff that I talked to you before. And you have Oreos and all that, all that stuff that you that you know of. Okay, it makes like using these things to your advantage in the beginning makes sense because it makes the transition easier from meat eater to vegan. But after that, you have to realize that this is not the end all be all. And you should, you should make step-by-step -step changes to replace, for example, the vegan burger that you eat right now with tofu, or the Oreos that you eat right now with dates, or with, some, with a banana, so to speak, or, uh, or other things, you know? You need to make this transition to a whole food plant-based diet. That's in the end, that's what you should be aiming for. And a very good thing to make this transition, to have like a checklist, so to speak, on this, on this, on this journey is to use the Daily Dawson app from Michael Greger. Now, Michael Greger is a very good doctor in this community of uh, vegan doctors, so to speak. I would say it's one of, it's, it's the leading authority when it comes to nutrition science. And he has an app called Daily Dawson. Uh, you can find it on the App Store, on the Play Store, Google Play Store. You simply tick off like the food that you're eating on a daily basis and make sure that you're eating all the necessary stuff that you should be eating for you to give you your uh, required nutrients, so to speak. Um, the third thing, what you should be aiming for, is you should lose the mindset that supplements are bad. Now, <laughs> right now, there's like a community thinking like, okay, supplements are horrible. There's a community thinking that supplements are the best thing and you should buy uh, all, all supplements uh, that are out there. And the truth is, as usual, found some, somewhere in the middle. I remember I was a bodybuilder before, so to speak, like heavy into bodybuilding, bodybuilding nutrition, and I was eating a lot of supplements. I was just devouring supplements. And then I had a time when I thought, like, hey, supplements are all uh, crap, so to speak. And now, and now I realize that just the truth is uh, found somewhere in between. You don't need thousands of supplements, but there's sub some supplements that you need to guarantee optimal health if you're vegan and if you're not vegan. I recommend the B12 supplement. A B12 supplement will cost you like, what, $5 or so a month. Uh, a lot of people, again, try to ar argue about this, but the thing is, the thing is like the, the investment is so little 
and the downside is so huge, like if a B12 deficiency can lead to neurological damage, then you don't really want to play with this, okay? You want to supplement vitamin B12 on a daily basis, you want to take one of those pills a day, uh, because not all supplements are created equal, not, not all supplements are bad, so to speak. So you want to lose your mindset regarding supplements. So these are three things that would give you, like if you're just starting out to be a vegan, or maybe if you're already a vegan, as a nutritional basics. You want to make sure that number one, you make your transition as easy as possible. And the way you do this is by eating fake meats, or fake burgers, so to speak. You know, like just, just fake meat products, which are still better than the meat alternative, but not as good as a whole food plant-based diet, which is the second step. A uh, whole food plant-based diet, download the da Daily Dozen app, make sure also you eat enough calories. Uh, Daily Dozen app will help you with this. If, uh, you, if you want additional resources, you can use the Chronometer app to make sure you eat a sufficient amount of calories. Uh, the third thing, uh, like calories also can lead to, uh, to, uh, to fatigue that some people report while being vegan. So make sure you eat enough, eat enough calories, especially if you're losing weight or something. The third thing is make sure you got the right mindset, the right mental model when it comes to supplement. Not all supplements are bad, and certainly not all supplements are good. There are a few that are really good for your health. Use them to your advantage. Okay, guys, this was the video. This was, these, were, these were the vegan nutrition basics that are very simple and easy that you can implement in your life right now. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get coached by me, I'm a vegan fitness coach. Go to qualitygains.com. You can schedule a free consultation with yours truly. Okay, guys, have a nice day.